Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is a review of the Blue Eddy AC180. I have been testing this for quite a while now, a couple of weeks, and I want to give you the, the real deal on how you can use it. Now there's other channels that will give you all the specs on this uh, Blue Eddy AC180. What, we, what we're going to do is really look at how it performs. I just want to show you guys real quick the size comparison on this. This is the AC180 and this is my DIY, very basic, um, almost similar similar capacity. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't have the most advanced features, but it does what it's supposed to do. But compared to the Blue Eddy AC180, uh, look at the size comparison. Yeah, this thing is tiny compared to the one I have, the one I just built. It's impressive how much capacity and power in this pretty small power station. Now I want to show you guys the comparison between the Blue Eddy EB3A and the Blue Eddy AC180. Now this AC180 has about more than four times the amount of power that this EB3A has. But look at the size. It's amazing how much they put in here. But of course, this is made for a different reason than the EB3A. Yeah, EB3 is more for portability, and this one is more for uh, bigger usage, I should say. Now next is I want to see how is the recharging rate, or how fast it recharges. Uh, based on what it says, it's as it, as it shows here, it's recharging at 1200 watts. And I had an app here that you know measures the decibel and you saw it it was about 48 I'm not sure how accurate that was but it was pretty quiet um, considering it, it was pulling 1200 watts into the AC 180 so at this rate this should charge or recharge in about less than an hour or about an hour but as you get closer to uh, full capacity 100% um, the input will start to uh, slow down so at, at this moment is putting in just around 570 watts about half of what it was putting in earlier and it will continue to slow down its input once it reach 100% so this is where I really want to know how much or how it can handle a full-size refrigerator so in case of power outage and I can use this at least half of the day, uh, maybe during the night while there's no sun. I want to know if this Blue Eddy AC180 will be able to do it. And as you saw, everything was off, and I'm gonna start testing this out and see if it can at least run for maybe 12 13 hours. So I got this charge at 100%, and we'll see how um, the initial surge will be. Usually this surge is about about close to 500, and as you see here, and then it will settle down to about 65 to 70 watts. So it's outputting to 20 around that ballpark. So according to this, if it's if it outputs to 20, it should run it at seven hours. But like I said, this down, this uh, refrigerator um, settles down around 70 to uh, around that ballpark, 70 to 75 watts. And of course, the compressor doesn't runs all the time. It's 4:51 in the afternoon, and it's starting to settle down to a lower wattage. And as you see, the the hours increase to 8.3. Mind you, some a portable power station similar to this size or a little bit smaller is not is not able to power the surge of the refrigerator but this one is able to do it and as you see here it's starting to sell down around 80 watts 85 watts and like uh, the, the time has increased to 10.1 but like I said before the compressor will not run all the time I'll be checking on this. So it's 10.38, I'm not sure if you caught that. Uh, it's 10.38 at night, so this has been running for about 
almost five hours now or close to six I think and um, it's 58% and it's still running pretty good and like I said it settled down to about 77 watts sometimes if it's, if it's not really being used it will settle down to about 65 watts which is even better now this time I'm gonna be testing this on the um, washing machine and this washing machine I've done multiple testing on this on different power stations and some power station is not able to hold um, continue to run it uh, because this takes a lot of amps but I'm pretty confident that this AC180 will be able to do it so my EB3A I was able to run this even though it was a smaller power station but I have had to go um, make some custom setting on the washing machine to be able to run it this one I'm gonna let it just let it do its thing and we'll see how how good it handles it so right now it's almost done washing and it's at the final uh, stage where it's spinning to its maximum capacity and as you see here sometimes it'll pull, pull around 700 watts and it's, as you see here it's spinning pretty fast and it's able to handle it so you can see some vibration on the um, car station and it was able to do it it was a success it only took nine percent surprisingly so that was a an hour worth of load uh, for this washing machine so that's pretty efficient and it only took nine percent that's amazing guys so while we still have 91 percent i'm gonna try testing this to um well now it's 89 testing this to um I don't know, rice cooker and we're gonna try to make rice five cups of rice and see how long and how much it consumes normally this rice rice cooker will uh, run for about 25 minutes till it you know cook some rice and we'll see how how much it how much it does it and the rice is done as you see here that's a lot of white rice um it from 91 percent what 16 percent it uh was able to consume so that is not bad it will if you keep it leave it plugged in it will constantly run for a few seconds then it will stop just to keep the rice warm so i suggest if you're in an emergency you want to cook rice you unplug it so it doesn't waste power and there you go see it goes back to zero now since we still have some juice left 74 percent we're gonna try to run a fan and see how long this will run they should handle it you know pretty easily because it doesn't consume a lot I believe this only takes takes out about as you see there about 25% and this was almost at the maximum setting of the fan only 25 watts I should say so it, it says here about 18 hours you can run this so this whole testing guys, I'm just trying to show you what you can use this with in case of a power outage. So you can wash some clothes, cook some rice, run this fan, and all the other things. Um, and if you have some solar plugged in this, uh, you can pretty much run this all day long. Now this next test is not very practical, but I'm sure you guys are wondering how well it will be able to handle this 5000 BTU. Uh, window AC so we're still at 74 percent and I got this brand new it's I bought this from Aldi it's no name brand uh, AC it's a 5000 BTU AC window AC and we'll see how this uh, AC 180 handles this let's turn it on and see what the surge is so it, Surprisingly, it didn't really surge a whole lot. 380 actually was the peak that I saw. I'm not sure if you guys saw something else, which is pretty good. And at this rate, uh, it should run this around 2.5 hours, two and a half hours at 74%. So if this was 100%, this would run this maybe 
I don't know, close to three hours. It's steadily climbing a little bit and I think this will settle down around 400, 410 uh, watts. And the setting I have this is on uh, right here, number five. And the fan is low, but it's, I mean, I can't tell you, you know, tell you guys exactly how cold it is, but it is cold. So if you're wondering, can this run a window AC? The answer is yes. How long? Well, that all depends. If you have the solar, some solar plug in here, maybe 600 watt worth of solar. That's my dog. She's just chilling. Uh, 600 watt watts of solar. Um, I don't know. You can run this pretty much all day long. And yeah, I just took some tape, and so you guys can see it's blowing here, cold air. Uh, now it sells down for about 420 watts So it's still pretty efficient considering on this um, Window ACC and of course the compressor doesn't run all day long. It will eventually stop and You know stop and starts. So what can I say about this um, blue Eddy e AC 180? Uh, for emergency just in case for a day worth of power outage and you're able to hook some solar panel into this this is a really good option it's not too big it's actually pretty small for for the capacity it has it's a little bit heavy uh, but it's manageable it will be able to run all your basic stuff at home uh, your washing machine your coffee your rice cooker your maybe your vacuum too I haven't tested that and your fan lights uh, if you have some solar, like I said, solar panels hooked into this, this is a really good option, guys. Now you can always build your DIY, but like what you have, what you saw in mine, it's pretty big. Uh, it take a lot of space, uh, except for this one is pretty small for what it has inside. Now I haven't ran into any issues yet. I will let you guys know if I do. But do I recommend this? So far, so good right now. So thanks for guys for watching, and let me know what you think.